pretend that never happened and get on with our lives, I think. Hey folks, welcome back. So this week I've been to the range to see what wild camping and backpacking things I could find. You may have seen I've done videos already at B&M, at Home Bargains and Sports Direct and I've done a couple of online ones at Amazon and then loads of <laughs> loads of stuff from AliExpress. So I'll show you what I found. It was a little bit disappointing if I'm honest. I expected, I expected better but I did pick up a couple of bits and I filmed quite a few things while I was in there as well because there were things that I've already got and there's no point in me buying them just for the sake of it. But I'll show you the, the footage from, from inside the shop. I've also this week got my latest bargain from AliExpress. So I'll show you that in detail at the end, but see if you can guess what it is. Let's get to it. So the first thing I came across in the shop was a load of regatta clothes. So they've got jackets for adults, men's and women's and kids as well. They've got waterproof trousers and fleeces as well. Um, so the jackets were $19.99 for the adults, $14.99 for the kids, and the regatta waterproof trousers were $14.99. But I did find some as I made my way around the shop further on for $4.99. They were the Summit brand. I think it must be the Ranger's own brand of, for outdoor things, or it's just a brand that they bought in. They got quite a few um, regatta coats as well. But there were no prices on anything so I couldn't work out how much it was and it was a real random selection so pretty much just one of each design um, but if you are looking for a coat it might be worth nipping and having a look if you've got what you want if you've got a range shop nearby and the summit waterproof trousers that I found as I say they were $4.99 um, and probably worth just getting a pair and sticking them in your bag if you haven't got any already they got a two-person tent called a pinnacle 2 that was $49.99 um, but I wouldn't recommend using that because it had got fiberglass poles and it was 3.2 kilos which is a lot for a two-man tent. Um, for that sort of budget you want to be looking at something like the Van Gogh NYX 200 or OEX Fox, something like that. They got a load of sleeping bags as well from sort of 10 quid up to 30 quid. The closest one I could find to a kind of wild camping bag had a 15 degree upper limit, 11 degree comfort, and 4 degree lower, and it didn't pack down that small, and it weighed 1.3 kilos, and that was 24.99. So again, you can get better alternatives online, even through Amazon. One I picked up the other week on the last video was 19.99, I think, from Amazon, which was pretty similar to that one in the range, but packs down a lot smaller. And they've got the usual range of uh, head torches. The one that they did have was a rechargeable one with a sensor on it. So even if you've got big thick gloves on in the winter, it's got a sensor on it so you just swipe your hand across and it comes on. I didn't get one of those because I've got one already, but the one in the range was $14.99. The one I've got, I think it's called an Everbeam from Amazon, was $16.99. So if that's the kind of thing you're looking for, then check that one out in the range. And then they've got a load of cookware. So the first thing I bought, did actually buy some things was this mug and it's a plastic mug it was a quid and I just got it to try it only weighs 68 grams so it's a lot lighter than the enamel ones that come in at like 120 grams plus it's decent size as well so I'll give that one a go next time out they got a load of enamel plates for two quid but they felt really thick and heavy so I wouldn't use those they got plastic plates and bowls for a pound made of the same plastic as this so they might be worth a go. But I've been using the, the bamboo plate that I got at b and I think. For the last couple of times I've been out and that's been fine for me. They'd also got a load of uh, guy lines and rope. So if you need to make your own guy lines or add extra guy lines to your tent, they've got all different colors and sizes and lengths of various ropes for just a couple of quid. So if you just want to pick something like that up, it's definitely worth a look. And they've got a folding water bottle as well, which looked exactly the same as the one I got in Home Bargains last week for 79p. This one was the Summit brand again, um, but it was £1.49. So I'd go for the one from Home Bargains if you're looking for something like that. I also got this cutlery set. This was £1.49, but I was just intrigued as to what's in it. 
but that's what it comes like. And then you've got a double-ended spoon and fork and knife thing. Quattro utensil set with case, serrated blade, fork and spoon, carabiner attachment. I'm not sure why you'd need to put that in its own case. I still don't really know why I bought that, to be fair, because I'll never use it. We'll just pretend that never happened and we'll get on with our lives, I think. They've also got repair kits for air beds and tents. So I picked up some PVC repair tape. This was a pound for five pieces. And I'll just keep that in my, one of my dry bags in case of emergencies. They've got microfiber towels as well that were in quite a large bag, but they felt like they've compressed down quite a lot. They were 6 99 I didn't buy one because I've got this one from Amazon. This was 7 99 so I would have bought the one from the range if I'd known about it. It was a similar sort of thing, so I don't need to, to buy another one. So that was it from the range. Like I say, it's pretty disappointing. Unless you've got the time to go and have a look around at the specific things they've got. Everything had the wrong prices on it. Um, so you'd probably have to ask someone if you're buying something like a coat or a sleeping bag, just make sure that you're paying the right price. So on to the AliExpress thing. So this is a folding toaster. It folds out like that. Push the side in. And the idea is the mesh on the bottom, you put that on top of your camping stove, your gas stove. The mesh distributes the heat evenly across that square and then you can lay your bread on the top of the grill to make toast. So I hadn't seen these before, it came up on my AliExpress as a recommended thing and I thought I'd give it a go. So next time I'm out, I'll take that and I'll go at making some toast. If you've got one, let me know what you think to it. Otherwise check back in a week or two and you can see how I get on with it. So as always, thanks for watching. Let me know if you found any good bargains in the range and what you think to them. And let me know as well which shop or which place I should try for my next haul video. Stay safe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.